is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have the brand new wwe elite series 91 Sami Zayn and kevin owens figures man really excited for these you had to put them together right arch nemesis arch rivals best friends long history together you got to review Sami Zayn and kevin owens together in the same wave and i can't i don't think we have we seen them in the same wave if they were in the same wave no they weren't in the same wave they weren't in the same wave i don't think i think the closest we've been is what like elite 40 and elite 43 and and then we had Elite 63 and Elite 66, I think is what it was. But now they have found their way together in Elite Series 91. But nonetheless, I think we have our best two Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn figures that we've ever seen before. I like the accessories we're getting. We're going to get into all the details, man. If you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Here's our front viewing window of both figures. It seems like you get a lot of good ish with each guy. I like the images they're using for the guys on the front. We do have like the Royal Rumble style Kevin Owens where he was feuding with Roman Reigns attire. You got the conspiracy. See theorist updated Sami Zayn we've been waiting on forever. On the side, you do get an images of the talent right there. On the back, you get the same images there. Not the same images, but you get like images of the You get what I mean. On the back, you get a little bio read. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave. On the side, you got their names in the cool font down the side. Series 91, True Effects logo, and all the good things. But with all that being said, man, we are going to crack these guys open. You guys know I'm a massive KO fan, and I do like Sami Zayn a whole lot as well. So this should be a really fun review. Can't wait to get into it. Let's go ahead and crack these guys out of their packaging. So here's Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn out of their packaging, spinning around the rotation, as you guys can see. Really nice accessories with both of these guys. I'm loving the details we get. Head sculpts, double-jointed arms, all the beautiful things. Like, seeing, like, new characters come into this double-jointed arm, very nice head sculpt, all around just great articulation with the great accessories. Just every figure, every single wave that we approach up the ladder and get more and more characters with these featured abilities. It is so nice to see, man. It's a breath of fresh air. It's so great to see with the double jointed arms that things that we have just been cramoring about for a very long time just seeing this come to fruition is so nice and it, it's just beautiful man we're going to get into all the details though so let's go ahead and dive into Sami Zayn's accessories and Sami Zayn and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at my boy KO's accessories and Kevin Owens so diving into Sami Zayn's accessories man starting out first let's get into our interchangeable hands first because you guys know these come with every single figure and we got the mic holding hands with the white hand tape they look really clean they go together well and you know what they did they did the white peg with the white tape Love to see that, man. The continuation, it's very accurate. It looks nice. It doesn't break things up or look awkward. It is perfect. Out of the packaging, he also comes with fisted hands, so we've seen these quite a number of times, so no need to spend too much time on it, but you do have the white peg and the white tape on there. And then getting into his good accessories or his great accessories, you do have his hat mold. I do believe this is a new hat mold. We have not seen this specific hat before, and it looks good. I think all the texturing is good. The color is really nice, like that flat army green type color. I think it looks just like his hat in real life, and he he does wear this pretty nicely so you can just stick this on here it's very reminiscent of like the wrestlemania 34 wrestlemania 23 john cena elite hat with the you know the army style or military style but it's not the same it has a different you know texture to it it has a different mold to it there it is on backwards it looks pretty damn good man i think it looks just like his hat that he wears in real life and uh you know that's all you can really ask for for Sami Zayn. so there is his hat accessory we also have his sammy award and what's really cool about the sammy award like it doesn't really look like like, you know, the actual Sammy Award, but it does look like a mini action figure on a pedestal. But this is supposed to be the Elite 63 Sami Zayn. He took his last Elite, the Elite 63 Sami Zayn, he spray painted it gold and then he stuck it on the thing as the Sammy Award. And this doesn't look like a small version really of the Elite 63 Sami Zayn, but it's still cool to see they released an action figure of Sammy, then he put it on TV as an accessory slash prop, and then they recreated that action figure accessory slash prop into another action action figure accessory slash prop. Freaking mind-blowing, honestly. But the gold color looks good. I like the pedestal. I think this is supposed to be, what, like a can or something? It's like a black can that he spray-painted and, and stuck to the bottom of it, but it's pretty cool. I think that's pretty just, just mind-blowing facts right there. And then last but not least, it is the best accessory, I would say, and it's going to be his army green jacket that he likes to wear. It also has, like, a hood on it, but I'm finding that it's not really a hood. Like, the hood really doesn't go on the figure at all. And I think it's supposed to be, like, he 
wore a hoodie underneath his camo jacket. So it was like a, the green jacket, and then he wore a black hoodie underneath the green jacket. So he like doubled up there and kind of gave it this look. So that's why you have like little black details under here. You do get some nice pockets and like sculpts going on right there like that. Like that's supposed to be a little button. He's supposed to have like pockets on it on the front, but you don't really get any of that pocket detail here. But it's still a nice accessory. It fits the figure well, and it has like kind of a tattery sort of conspiracy theory looking vibe to it, you know? So that's really all you can ask for, man. And on the back here, you do get some like wrinklage and stuff. I mean, it's a very nice accessory. This is what we always want. Cloth accessories make the world go round, and I'm not complaining about this at all. Even if it is missing some details, it's still a beautiful jacket and a jacket that we will be putting on the figure. Now getting into the Sami Zayn head sculpt, I think it is a nice head sculpt. I think that they nailed it. I'm loving that we're getting a new Sami Zayn head sculpt, and it's longer hair. You know, it's the thicker beard. It's the longer hair and all those different things. I think it could use more of a reddish tone, like adding some orange or reddish tones to the beard and the hair would make it stand out more and make it a lot more accurate. But the lightness is totally there. I like that he's not smiling. He's not being goofy. It's more of a serious, you know, Sami Zayn. They could have done a yelling head. They could have done a smiling head, you know, like the big, big, you know, controversial smile, if you will. But I think it looks good. They didn't give him any chest hair, which is also kind of bummerific. I would have liked to seen one of the old elite Sami Zayn torsos make its way over here. Add some chest hair, something maybe we could do on surgery or I don't know. We'll, we'll see about that. But I like I like that they kept the same torso because it is very reminiscent of Sami Zayn. I think it, that he's one of those guys that this torso fits really well. We do get the nice shoulders and the double jointed arms in there, which is just beautiful. It does feel like they are tight. They don't feel like they're going to be loosey-goosey or anything. So that's just fantastic. Going down into the crotch and the legs. Now, this is something that I talked about in our render images and like our, you know, our pre-creation images. And this is the Sergeant Slaughter crotch and legs, which totally works. Like, right, it's the baggy cargo pants look and it totally works. But at the same time, it doesn't work because one thing you'll notice is that they had to change his boot mold. Now, they are accurate as far as colors and stuff, but they had to give him like macho man style boots. So the taller style of boots because these legs were not long enough. So that's what happens when you change that mold. The Sergeant Slaughter mold is not the same as the Sami Zayn mold. I felt like his older Sami Zayn boot mold was more accurate. So here is here is an elite Sami Zayn so you guys can see it is totally different. Like they look the same but the, the mold is different because they made the boots longer and had to give him those longer boots to make him tall enough. But I understand why they changed it. It's just as far as you know like accuracies to the old boot mold is not quite there anymore but it's all good. You know I still think it looks pretty nice and it, it reminisces of Sami Zayn very very well. So here is the figure in its entirety right here. He, he is on ball joints so that's good right there. You get the double knee right there. You get the thigh cut. You get a tiny bit of ankle rotation there or ankle pivot. You do get a nice boot rotation. You get the double jointed arms, tight waist, decent looking face. And for your Sami Zayn figure comparisons guys, here's a custom El Generico on the left and then we have the Elite 63 Sami Zayn over here with a hand swap and I did add the Tommaso Ciampa pants so just to kind of give us an updated Sami until we got this new one and I like all three of them. Now I can finally take the pants off of this Sami Zayn and go back to his old gear because I love that figure. I love the Elite 63. I like the lightness and the head sculpt and all those different things and it's kind of crazy how you go from the, like I don't think Sami Zayn's ever had really a bad head sculpt. I feel like he's been pretty consistent about his head sculpts but it's cool to see all three of these up next to each other. I can finally rid him of these pants and we can go back to the classic tight Sami Zayn which I do love. I miss Babyface 2016 style Sami Zayn even though that's not necessarily what this figure was based off of but I still do miss that Sami Zayn but that is it for your Sami Zayn figure your comparisons. And for Kevin Owens' accessories, guys, starting out first, we do have this ladder accessory, which is very nice. Now, we have seen a standard ladder multiple times, and I want to even see we've seen breakaway ladders with some of those, like, what are they called? They were, like, Target exclusive. It came with, like, a Seth Rollins version, and then you had, like, an Undertaker that came with, like, they come with random accessories. They're like the, uh, God, I don't, I don't remember the name of it. It's not coming off the top of my dome, but we do have this nice silver flat ladder, and this one's breakaway, so you can set this up and then powerbomb people on it, like Kevin Owens likes to do. It's smash the ladder and stuff and i don't i want to okay it can come apart there's like a little mini peg on the inside right there so it can come apart if you want to but that's pretty cool like yeah that's dope man you could have somebody climb the ladder and then hit this part with the ladder and have them like fall off of it you could you could slam them on it like we talked about with the with a power bomb or something so this is a great accessory that i'm glad that we have i'd like to see a bigger version of this maybe in a future playset or something but outside of that we do get the infamous handcuffs right that kind of almost ruined that matchup for roman reigns and kevin owens should have become Universal Champion. I'll be the conspiracy theorist like Sami Zayn right here and say that Kevin Owens won that matchup, but the referee stopped counting. Conspiracy theory against Kevin Owens. But this is nice. We 
just saw these with the Elite Boss Man that we just got. So, you know, it's always nice to see another pair of these. I'm trying to pump out those hand handcuffs into the wave. And then we have our first ever white armband or white tape Owens. You guys can see the knuckle tats right there. I'm pretty sure he has more hand tattoos, but they're kind of covered by the tape. And you do get the white pegs on there, which are just beautiful, man. I'm so glad they started paying attention to that detail. Sometimes they'd have it, sometimes they wouldn't. But I think in this case, having the white peg will work out nice, especially when you have that white wrist tape on there. So you do have his knuckle tats and all the things, but out of the packaging, he also comes with fists, like we just saw with Sami Zayn. So let's move on to Kevin Owens himself. Now getting into my man Kevin Owens right here, man, I think we have arrived at the best Kevin Owens head sculpt. I think, you know, it's like they improve it every single time. Every single time it gets a little bit better and a little bit better. I think they nailed the eyes. They nailed the beard. The hair is just perfect. I love it. I think that they did an outstanding job on this. You know, I like it when he like fades the hair and the beard, you know, but this is accurate. I think it's perfect, like legitimately perfect. And now we have a MDT Extreme Champion Kevin Owens with double jointed arms. So, I mean, that's that's fantastic again, but it doesn't really matter if you don't do pick feds, right? So pretty damn stupid. Anyways, head sculpt looks fantastic. Best he Kevin Owens head sculpt I've ever seen. No doubt about it. Going down into the shirt. You guys know the Kevin Owens just wears the, the sleeveless shirt to the ring and that's it. And, you know, it, it, it hurts his ab crunch for sure, but I don't think it's that big a deal. I think that it works out good and everything. I love that they're giving him this shoulder mold. They gave him like the muscular shoulder mold, which is really cool, man. When you put the tattoos on there, it kind of hides some of that like big muscle definition. So I think it really creates like the stockiness that Kevin Owens has. So that's freaking beautiful. I liked this shirt when he wore it. Stunned the world, the blue and yellow. Fight Owens fight. He may be our next WWE champion. Who knows? You know, you don't necessarily know what's in the cards for Kevin Owens. We zoom in on all this tattoo detail. One thing I don't like is that you guys can see the tattoo kind of run out right there on the shoulder, which is kind of annoying, but I have uh, analyzed his tattoos greatly because I love tattoos and I love Kevin Owens, so I have looked at them, and this looks pretty accurate. I would say that some of the sizings off, like this panda right here, needs to be more on the inner bicep and have it like fill up the inner bicep, but uh, you know, it's not the biggest deal. Having a full sleeve here, it, it does complete it so that, you know, it still works out. I just hate that like gappage that you get right there. You do have his gorilla tattoo down here as well. A lot of people know this tattoo as well. You have like the T-Rex skull head, which looks pretty good here. He does have like the rest of it down here. I don't know if it's going to be like all skeletons down this side with like different animals and different things like that, but you do get the live slash evil tattoo right here as well. And then you do have his knuckle tats down here, but the Kevin Owens looks fantastic. I love the shorts. You got the black and gray shorts with the fight on there, knee pads, and the stand. Like we've seen this crotch and legs multiple times now in the past, but he does have his boots with the blue laces that really complete the look. Now, if you want to see articulation, again, his, his ab crunch has never been that good because he has this rubber mold, but it doesn't ever hinder me when pick fetting, so that doesn't really bother me. He has a pretty good split C. He can't kick forward that well for some reason. Like, on this figure, I'm not getting a good kick forward, but he's on ball joints, which is very weird. He all, like, Kevin Owens, all his figures are on ball joints. See, this one has a good kick forward, but this one over here does not for some reason. I may have to order me another one, see if I can change up my look, or maybe I need to switch out the legs or figure something now, but the double joint arms are fantastic. You get the, you know, the full rotation and all those different things. Bicep swivel, as we come to know. Double jointed arms are great. and punch himself in the face. You get all the good stuff with the Kevin Owens. I, I don't really have any issues with it. You know, you want to make sure that shirt's pushed down. That way you can have Kevin Owens beat the hell out of everybody, but I think that this is pretty damn good. I, I like the way this looks and everything like that, so let's get into some Kevin Owens figure comparisons. So for your Kevin Owens figure comparisons, guys, here's every single Elite KO release that we have seen to this point from Mattel as far as elites are concerned. You have the Elite 43, the Elite 47, the Elite 53, and then you have to jump to the WrestleMania 34 figure, the Elite 66, the Elite 66 Chase. Then I think this is the Elite 80 or Elite 81. I can never get the right series there. And then we have the brand new Elite 91. Now, I'm not sure if I'm missing one besides the Festival of Friendship epic moments with the long pants, but that's basically just the Elite 53 without any arm tape and then long pants on it. So, you know, I, I don't know. I, I like all of them, though. I love collecting Kevin Owens. I have certainly, like, 25 more Kevin Owens in the collection, so he's one of my favorite guys. I think he's fantastic and his figures keep getting better. Like, if you take this Elite 43 and then compare it to the most recent one, like, isn't it just crazy how much better the figures get? Like, yeah, they retain some of that old, you know, some of the old stuff. You have the interchangeable hands, you have the double jointed arms, you have the realistic face detail. You get just, like, these are pretty much the exact same molds, but that's what I'm saying when you combine the newness with the oldness and it's just beautiful. They, they do a really good job of upgrading the tech and upgrading our, our different things about the figures to make them better and better every single time but this Kevin Owens is pretty much perfect from head to toe. I love it. It's definitely the best Kevin Owens we've seen so far. But I think that pretty much wraps up this 2-in-1 Elite 91 review on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, man. Really impressive.
impressed with both of them. Again, I, I like both of them a lot. I think this is the best versions of these. You know, it's not Wrestling Gear Sami Zayn, but maybe we can get one in the future, and I'm sure that that will slap just as hard as this one. You know, the, these figures look insane. Very excited to have them. You guys know that I, I love Kevin Owens so much. He's one of my favorite superstars, so seeing this figure, seeing these figures with this wave, this whole wave is just kind of insane, which we are going to wrap it up tomorrow for the full wave. We have a lot of more reviews coming. We have a lot more top 10s and things to finish out the year, man, and get the room tour set up for, for the amazing room review room tour at the end of the year but thank you guys so very much for watching i would recommend both of these because they are their best versions you have the double jointed arms you have the great accessories you get all the different things with these figures and i think it is excellent man so do not miss out go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent i really enjoyed these i think you will too but i'm getting out of here subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video and don't cross the line like um i uh I, 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 I don't know, like Mattel for not giving us double jointed arms soon enough. You cry.